hello, swear back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here. Dell, Ryzen 5, Radeon uh, graphics, fingerprint reader. So this is a nice laptop, a Dell. Let's see what the customer is saying. The customer is a computer shop. Del Vostro 5415, probably water damage, was sent under warranty to Dell. They declined the repair. Uh, let me know if I can send it. Thank you. So um, the laptop, was it, it is under warranty, but Dell refused to fix it, probably because of the liquid damage. They don't have uh, the obligation to fix it, even if it's under warranty. Because it's, you know, it's customer fault. So I will say, let's open this one and let's see what it's inside and uh, if we can fix it. Depends of level of damage. Depends on how long the liquid damage it was there. We can't say from before if we can fix it or not. Okay, so the laptop is open. Yeah, it looks like someone try already to do something here yeah because it was a liquid damage before we are playing with the power i will say let's take out the motherboard because i can't see anything on this side of the board let's take out the motherboard and have a look on the other side yeah okay so the motherboard it's out Yeah, the fan connector. And I can't see any liquid damage. You can see any liquid damage on this motherboard. So here is a foil. I can't see liquid damage even here. Let's check the motherboard closely. Let's see if indeed here it was liquid damage. No liquid damage. No liquid damage. Nothing. I mean, this board is looking impeachable. So how they figured it out, it was liquid damage. On this side of the board, let's see on this side of the board. Okay, you know what? It was liquid damage and someone cleaned it. You can see it? Yeah, indeed. Indeed, you can see it. Uh, so someone cleaned the liquid damage exactly here, on this area. But it's only here on this side, that's all, only here. So uh, that cap is like, you can see, it's not even, uh, it's not played on one side of the capacitor. So what do you think to check, like cold check with the multimeter? Hmm? Cold check. I mean, you know, because there are so many damaged capacitors. Let's just, uh, yeah, so you see, here is fine, no short. Here is fine, no short. You can see, no short. No short. Good. So you see here is no short, here no short, so nothing is shorted here. Uh, one second, 
Nu no, svetlo. No, nothing is short of this. No. Everything is good. I mean, apart from some resistors. Diode. Okay, let's check with ground. Yeah, this is more important. This coil with ground. Good. This coil with ground. This one. Good. No short. This coil with ground. Good. I mean, I'm not sure what this is, this thing it is, you can see. Glitter, it's like glitter. But the board is looking good. I mean, why this, uh, why this could not be repaired? Here is fine. Here is the CPU, right? Yeah. And here we have one more coil. Which is fine, it's not short. So why this motherboard is not working? Okay, you know what, let's plug a charger. I'm assuming this is working also on the USB-C. But the thing is, I don't trust USB-C, so let me take out the charging port from the laptop. And let's try with the, with the charger to see what kind of current is taking. Here we have the charging port here. Let's see what it's doing. Maybe it's an easy job. Maybe we can fix it. What do you think? Let me go get a plug for this motherboard. We need a Dell plug. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's the plug. Okay, so on the power supply we have 19 volts, it's fine. Plug in the charger, it's taking like 10 milliamps, which is right. Good. Let's see the main power out, right? Yeah, let's check the main power. So the main power rail, we are checking where? Here. You see capacitors, MOSFETs, coil. You can see it. So on the capacitor we have 12.5. So the main power rail is present. Now what is the next step we are uh, checking? The 3.3 LDO, right? Yeah. On the bio chip we have nothing. What is the EC chip? Hmm? Where is my EC chip? Here are some MOSFETs. Here, the AC chip is here. I think it's here. Let's see. Hey, check there, Novoton. Hmm. So on my Novoton chip, we have what? Nothing. Big trucks. Can you spot any big truck here? Or uh, pull up resistor. On the pull up resistors like these ones, we should have 3.3. And the 3.3 is not present. No, nothing. We don't have 3.3. So you see, that's the problem with this motherboard. No 3.3. Do you think the 3.3 is shorted? If the 3.3 it will be shorted, I will see probably 100, 150 milliamps on the power supply. Let's check. So here is fine, no short. Here is fine, no short. Here, no short. So I can't see short on this motherboard. So nothing is shorted. And you'll say, okay, sorry. So what is the solution? The solution is to find a 3.3 LDO power supply. And that's the hard part. So must be one of those chips. This one probably not. I'm thinking this one or this one, one of those.
the problem is no one tried to reflow those chips. You can see them, uh, they are damaged. And of course, they are damaged on the, on the 19 volts. You can see, you can spot. So here it's a lot of damage. And no one tried to reflow. Here, this one is looking fine. Yeah, I don't think this need a reflow. But this one is looking quite bad. And I'm assuming this is the 3.3 LDO. Of course, I'm not sure about that. But I will say the easiest way, yeah, is let's try and have a look behind of the chip. And eventually, uh, check those pins. So I'll come with 480 degrees, 40% uh, air, or 30. Maybe 30. Let's see what we can do here. It's too low. Let's go with 40% air. Okay, the chip position, pin number one there, the pins on this chip are fine, so there's nothing wrong here. Wow, so why this board is not working? Uh, I think I know what chip is is this, but let me let me be sure. Okay, I found it. It's a Silergy SY8288. That's what uh, this chip it is, and you can see here. But wait, this is from SY8286. Okay, let's try to find the data sheet of this chip. I'm pretty sure I can find it on our Discord. Let's see. Wait, he's sending me one second. Okay, that's the Silergy chip. So it's good to know, AWV, BAA, BAC, AWS, it's a variation of Silergy chips. Okay, but I need a schematic of this, I need a data sheet. Okay, I found on Discord something which is saying it's my chip. It's our chip, SY8288. And the LDO 3.3, check here, it's pin number 17. So let's check the pin number 17. So without self soldering the chip back, pin number 17 is 17, this one. Fifteen, sixteen, so, so sixteen and seventeen are together and are going here. Yeah. So this pin we ground is not short. So if we are coming with three point three, yeah, that's the question. If we are coming with three point three on that pin, it is short, or what is the current there? 2.9 and this pin and it's taking no current nothing no current at all okay that's strange but that's not a problem let's solder our chip back because we don't know if it's good or not
We're going to check for the 3.3 .3 to see if it's present. Perfect. Now let me cool down that chip. Yeah. Uh, let's come with the power supply, 19. Yeah, 19 volts. I will plug the charger. So I plug the charger. Let's check the voltage. Now the voltage is at the input, which is this one, is 12.5, and here 2.7. Why is 2.7 not 3.3? .3? Here we have 5 volts, but here we have 2.7. Uh, so why is 2.7 volts here? Because it's taking no current, that's the thing. But okay, you know what? Why we have 2.7 here, but we have no voltage on the LDU? We have no voltage on the on the AC chip. Hmm. Why is that? Again, we don't know. Hmm? So many questions. So many questions and no answer. You know what? I think because this ship is that probably the power good, which is on the pin. One second. Power good, it's on the pin 9, pin number 9. which is here, and it's like zero volts. Not sure if the power good is applying for LDO voltage. But for me, it looks like this chip is not doing the job. That's how it looks. And uh, I do have another chip, let me find it. Okay, so according with this, BAC is Silergy A288, and I have a BDG, which is 8288. So I found the chip, I found the chip, yeah? So let's replace the chip. BDG, that's the one. Let me take this chip out. Perfect. Now let's swap the chip on our board. In here. Okay, so this is out, and this is in. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let me dip this chip on in Rosin, yeah? Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. You see the chip slide himself. 
at his place. Let's cool down the chip. And now we should have the 3.3, right? Yeah, let me plug the charger. Plug in the charger. And I can't see anything. But the 3.3... Check on the screen. Check on the screen. 3.2, 3.3. So the 3.3, it is present now. We don't have the 5 volts. The 5 volts is not present anymore. Okay, that's strange. Mm -hmm. Let me see the power good. Power good is still zero. Anyway, the 3.3, .3, it is present. Good. So, do we have 3.3? .3? Not on the BIOS chip, no. Do we have 3.3 .3 on the AC chip? Hmm? Probably not. Because we didn't have before... Uh, we didn't have before uh, with 2.7. So just by touching, I can't see any 3.3. So I think I should, we should pay attention on uh, the damage area. And any resistor you see a damage is because it had voltage on it. That's why the resistor got damaged. And now it's no voltage on any resistor. So we have no idea where that 3.3 is going. Okay, what I'm gonna do, because I don't have the schematic for this one. I'm gonna beep that uh, uh, that track, this one with this capacitor. Okay, I'm gonna beep this to see where it's going. Okay, I can't find it. Let me find a schematic for this motherboard because it's taking too long. So what is the board model number? Okay, I found the schematic. Uh, yeah, the MD CPU. Okay, we need the power sequence. Power sequence. Hmm? What do you think about that? Okay, this is not the audio. 3v3 and we have uh, 500 milliamps. Yes, it must be this one. It's not saying it's LDO. Okay, so this is the Sealergy chip, which we were looking for. And indeed, indeed, we have, no, this is the input. P number 16 and 17. Seventeen is connected to ground. P number 13, it's LDO 3.3. Wait, what chip is this? PU4501.
Okay, so this is not our chip. This is PU4501. That's P number one. Yeah. Let me focus. So LDO is P number 13. Four, eight, 12, 13 here. So this is the LDO pin. And it's not shorted. Then 14 is ground, this one, yeah. Okay, let's come with 3.3 there. Okay, so this is our current. Here is taking what? I can't see. One second. Here is taking 40 milliamps, which is about the right amount of uh, current. Yeah, good, good. Now, what is this chip we replace? We replace it. PU4551. I mean, we work for nothing or what? This is the one, 4551. And even this one has a LDO. Well, this is LDO 5 volts. But what chip is this then? It's A288. And this one is 8388. LOL. Hmm. But this one is providing five volts. Now one second. So what is sixteen and seventeen here? Sixteen and seventeen has a capacitor connected to ground and it's supposed to be five volts. But we have three point three because we replace the chip with different chip. Lord. Ah, okay, 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 let's replace that chip back. From where is the schematic? From Vinafix, I have to pay four dollars for the schematic because I don't have a subscription. I know that sucks, but. I'm going to share it on our Discord, just to be sure if anyone needs the schematic, it will be there. Well, what I'm doing? Yeah, this ship probably is this faulty. Because uh, instead of having 5 volts there, we have 2.7, you remember? But right now, this is not our problem, yeah? I cannot fix something else when actually my problem is 3.3 LDO. So my problem is this chip right now. So this chip probably is not providing the 3.3. Most likely. But we can check that. Let me switch the power supply to 19. Oh, this is a long job. Connecting the power supply, good. Let's check the voltage on that chip. So checking the voltage here on this capacitor and we have zero volts, you can see. Zero, no LDO voltage. The input voltage? No, we have nothing. Yeah, we do have here, but I cannot check. Yeah, I cannot check here. I can check here. So we have 12.5 on the input, but on the 3.3 LDO we have nothing. So uh, that's our problem. Let's... Uh, a shorty flow, do you think?
or this she partially is dead. Nah, it's all there properly. A reflow, it will change nothing. Yeah, we need a chip. <sighs> and I think I have one. Uh, where is it? Perfect. Good, let's cool down this chip. Now let's see what will gonna happen. Good, so plug in the charger and nothing happened. That's fine, let's check the voltage there. So the voltage there is is nothing, is dead. There's no 3.3 and on the input we have 12.5 why is no 3.3 there LDO Enable LDO Or This is power good <sighs> oh, This is this is so complicated So what do we have here? We have a capacitor from the switching and it's coming up, okay, it's coming on the power good, which we are not sure where it's going. Enable one, enable two. This is just a resistor to ground. And this one, it's an enable pin from 19 volts. So on this pin we should have some voltage. Yeah. What pin is? Pin number, pin number eight. This is pin number eight. Let's see. So on the pin number eight, we have this one. We have nothing. We have zero volts. Well, that's sick. So the voltage is coming from here and on the other side we have nothing yeah, because it is liquid damage. Yeah, you're right. Let's see from where it's coming. So we don't have the enable on this uh, on this pin, but this is coming straight from 19 volts. You can see from a resistor. So what is that resistor from the pin number 8? Yeah, that's the resistor, you can see it? That's the one. The problem is on the other side of the resistor we have nothing. I mean here we have no voltage. And here we have no voltage. You can see. 
They're supposed to be 19. Nothing. P number 8. Yeah, 4, 8. This one. No, this one, sorry. No, this one. Wait. P number 8 is this one. Yeah. And we have to resist a 1 to ground and 1 to plus to 19. But I have no voltage on any, like on any side, any, nothing. It's just that no voltage here. Hmm. Let's see what is this. Is here. DC butt out. So this is the main power rail, but it's not nineteen. It's twelve point five. And the main power is present. Yeah, this is a mistake on the schematic. It's a mistake. I mean, that's how it's called 19 DC baht out, but the, the voltage is the battery voltage. So 12.5 volts is right here. And it's present. So I'm not sure for what I'm working uh, right now, because... Uh, to understand why this voltage is missing when it's present, actually. It's not present on the input of the of the resistor. You know what? I hate water damage drops. Okay, so one more time. Probably the whole chip is good also. So one more time, our problem is missing voltage on this enable pin which is coming from this resistor. So if one resistor is connected to ground, let me see which one is ground. Uh, this one is ground, this one is plus. Good. So my problem is I don't have here voltage. That's the issue. That's the problem. Check on the screen, we have 12.5 and 0 0.5 on the input of the resistor. So here we have 0 0.5, yeah? But here we have 12. So this resistor is gone. That's our issue. That's the problem. So we work like this. This has one, minute, one hour and 16 minutes. You can believe that? So we were like one hour and 16 minutes just to find out a damaged resistor. Solder in that resistor. Perfect. Perfect job. Okay, let's cool down the board. Let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger. 80 milliamps. Check that on the screen. 70. 70 milliamps. So what is taking 70 milliamps? Wow. So it is a change. 3.3 we have on this coil. And here we have 3.3. Okay, so the motherboard is plugged in and it's taking 100 milliamps. On the output of this chip we have 3.3 on the big coil. And we have the LDO, which is 3.3. So everything seems to be fine. Now, what is taking 100 milliamps? That's my question. LOL, okay, okay, LOL, that chip is mad hot, this one. <sighs> Why that chip is hot? What the chip is doing in order to be hot? 
So the output is 5.3 volts. How can be the output 5.3? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's see what's going on with this chip. So this chip, this one, what we play on the beginning, yeah? This one, we play on the beginning with this one. So this one is, so with this one we finished, yeah? So all good with this one. So this chip is this one. And is providing... Um, 5 volts, but we have 5.3. So this chip is really outputting more voltage than it's supposed to output. But this one is faulty. Okay. So I'm going to remove this chip. This is the original one. And we're going to try to find another chip. Yeah, so the chip is removed. It is clearly burned. Okay, I found the chip BAC. I found that hopefully this it will fix our issue. Perfect. Good. Now let's cool down the motherboard and hopefully it will work. One hour and fifty minutes, I can't believe. Okay, let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger and it's taking 10 milliamps, which is fine. Let's check the 400 milliamps. That's crazy. The motherboard started. Why is 400 milliamps? And the CPU is getting warm. I can't believe. I can't believe. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Let's let's put the motherboard back quickly. That's crazy. That's that's insane. I mean, we think I can't believe two hours on this motherboard, which was rejected by Dell. Hmm? We are better than Dell, right? Yeah. Okay, so we connected the screen. We connect this board. Okay, the charging port is here. Let's see. And I can see the light here on the corner. You can see it. The fan is spinning at full speed. It's taking 600 milliamps. That's way because we reset the bias. Meanwhile, let's check our 5 volts to see if it's okay. It is 5.1, it's fine. So the 5 volts is present. Not sure why that fan is spinning at full speed. Why the fan is spinning at full speed? And we have no picture. Oh lord. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, let's plug the battery. 
plug in the battery, plug in the charger, taking 500 milliamps. Why we have no picture? Let's swap the RAM memory on the other socket. Well, let's try with different RAM memory. Try with different RAM memory. The laptop restart. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. If the laptop restart, it's restarting. That's a good sign. Now the fan is like low RPM. Hmm? It was picture. We have picture. That's crazy. That's that's insane. And yeah, we do have liquid damage on the screen. But we have picture. We fix it. Two hours, one hour and fifty-five. Check here. Probably will not believe it. Check. It. You can see here on the bottom, one hour fifty-five. Can't believe we fix it. Ah, this was such a long job. I mean, if I will find now, actually the keyboard is dead, yeah, because of the liquid damage, that it will suck. The laptop is not charging also, you can see, oh, it's not charging because my charger is dodgy, okay, okay. Because the AC power adapter cannot be determined. Yeah. But the keyboard is a different story, yeah, so, uh, you know, I had to fix the motherboard. I'm pretty sure even if the keyboard is faulty, the customer it will understand. I mean, I'm not sure this laptop is coming from a computer shop, but a computer shop has to tell the customer, yeah? Okay, it's liquid damage, we can try to restore the motherboard, and that's the price. But on a liquid damage job or case, if the water came from the front, also the keyboard can be dead. And that's mean extra money for the repair. I mean, that's what is supposed to do a computer shop. To let the customer know before, yeah, before the repair. Okay, so we plug the keyboard. Let's check one more time. I can try with the customer charger to see if it's charging. I'm pretty sure it's charging. Because the charging circuit is on the other side of the motherboard where there was no liquid damage. So what's wrong? What is wrong? It's actually the memory is faulty. This one. The customer memory. Yeah, we have the picture. The touchpad is working. And the keyboard is working. Oh. Uh, let's go and buy a setup. No. Oh yeah, it is working. One second. Yeah, the keyboard is working. Yeah. At least it looks like uh, looks like it's working. Ha. Huh. We fix it. I mean, not only the keyboard, even the screen is damaged, but you know what I mean? It's uh that's up to the customer if he want to replace the screen uh, in the future or not. Not sure what's going on with this RAM memory. Why it didn't work with this RAM memory? Because it was on this slot or what? Let me try again with the RAM memory on this slot.
No, it's working. So, uh, can be the slot or can be like, uh, okay, if you have only one RAM memory to plug it here in order to work. But yeah, it is working with that RAM memory. Okay. We fixed it. It was a proper long job. I can't believe how long it was. So we found one chip burn here. No, actually no, right? No, no, the chip wasn't burned. Uh, was missing the um, the enable uh, voltage, but this one it was burned. The five volts one. Yeah, anyway, I'm happy I uh, I fixed this laptop. I will say you know, thank you for watching. Um, just like and subscribe if you like the video and I will share the schematic on our Discord in case you need it so you don't have to pay for it. Bye.